3030. Add some padding. There we go. A little bit more breathing room. Nice. So we have two sections down. Very easy. Now we're going to start on our work section. So we're going to go in here. Where are we? We want to grab a heading. We want to grab, I want to grab this paragraph. Click on, put it right underneath. Nice. Now, again, I need to center these, so we're going to go back into our here. Oh, I forgot a div, that's why. So, our section, we want to put a div in our section, and then we're going to put our heading and paragraph within our div. One, two, put a heading above. Now, within our div section, hitting S to go to our styles, hit flex. So, flex is probably not the best for this. So, we are just going to go back to our navigation section, div, style, here. Make it the display block. Now, heading is centered. Our paragraph, style, flex, center. We also want to center it here, and we're going to put some padding on the side. We're going to make that padding percentage based on 25%. Copy that. Put it in here, 25%. Very nice. We're going to change this heading to My Work. Check out how cool My Work is. Now, here's the easy part. We just need to get our work into here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close that div block real quick. We are now going to add three columns. So, we're going to put a div block in, just like so. So, section, div block. Well, we want the div block outside. So, let's take this. Boom. Now outside, inside this section, and we are going to put a three column grid in there. So we're putting our columns into our grid, giving us options here. I'm going to hit three because we're going to display three different uh, artworks or pieces here. Now, we're going to put a div and an image in each one. So I'm going to put a div in the column, and I'm also going to put a image in each one. So with that, I'm going to take this image, or this div, in the navigation here, Command C, go over to column 2, paste, paste. Very easy. Now, what I'm going to do with these images are, actually, let me undo this easier way. So this image, or this div, I'm going to go to the styles, and I'm going to put port, port. Now, I'm going to import an image here. So I'm going to go into pictures. Boom, there we go. And as you can see, there is padding, and that's because on every column, there is a padding of 10. Now, what we want to go do is we want to copy this image into every single one of these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this div here, copy, paste, Click into the column, copy, paste, paste. And we have now our three images. So these are images. Now you can have images have text or image here to describe your your uh, your project and link buttons to link out to the project detail page, or you can have links within them. So what we can do is get a link block. put that in column 2 and put our image inside link block so now this is actually clickable and will take you somewhere so we're gonna copy the link block click on image delete the image and put now a image with a link block inside each so now each one of these images has as you can see a link block a link block a link block which will take you to a designated link you want 
to take your users. So now let's deal with the 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 last part, which is the contact. We'll go in and, and resize things and make make it pretty at the end. But let's just get everything on the page first. So going back to our elements page, getting a section, dropping it in. First let's let's hitting S, put some margin on. Some margin on this section here. Okay, now contact. So I'm just going to take heading one, drop it in here, paragraph, drop it in here. Really, I could have just let's do that. I'm going to copy the div from up here, this div, and I'm going to copy it into the section. Put contact. Contact me. Contact me to do awesome work for you. <laughs> Hashtag smiley face. <laughs> All right. So this next part is really easy. So I'm going to start off with getting this section, changing the color. So styles, going to the background section, color, and I'm going to change this color to that black that we've been using. Changing our fonts color to white. Easy. And now to finish we are gonna put our contact form okay now for the contact form I'm going to go ahead and pad this up 25% 25% there you go maybe even a little bit more there you go change this Actually, let's flip some things around because we had something, we had our paragraph pushed to the bottom. Paragraph on top. And now we're going to change the color of the form input text. We're going to make this button 100 width so it fills up. Yes, and we're going to put some margin on top of that. We're almost there, guys. So now we are going to do some cleanup. So we have our div. We're going to put some padding on top of this. We're going to, not margin, some padding. Here we go. Just to give everything some breathing room. Nice. So nice. So now we have a nice little contact section. Uh oh. Oh, that's what happened. You see there's no text here? That's because our heading, we need to make a dupli duplicate class. Because this um, heading and paragraph had the same class as contact me in this paragraph here. So we just duplicated the class so now we can change now we can change the text without it messing up our contact us form uh, text color. Cool. So now I'm looking for the my work section because I want to increase the padding here. So I am going to go back to the styles. I'm going to increase padding here by like 80. Alright guys, so we have our nav bar, we have our baddest designers NA, we have our subtext or our body text, we have our two sections, we have our work with links within them, and we have our contact 
So, really simple stuff, guys. Just want to get this out to you so you can see how easy it is to use Webflow. Um, I can, it's only been 30 minutes, but I just wanted to show you guys how simple, you know, it is to create something like this. You can get more and more detailed with your own work. So really when you're doing this, you want to make sure that, you know, you make everything unique in terms of classes. This whole thing was basically to show you how easy Webflow is to use. And especially if you don't have an online presence already, I've created something very simple within 30 minutes. Okay, there we go. So this is the preview. We have our nav bar. These things, our links are clickable. We have our hero. We have our sections. And again, when you put a little bit more time into it, you'll be able to put a little bit more time into this and make it more refined. This is 30 minutes of your time to have something up. So basically, guys, I'm just showing you how easy Webflow is to use, how quickly you can work with it, and I encourage you to practice with it as well. I'll be putting out more videos, especially on the weekend, um, of more tutorials on Webflow. This is just basically an introductory video, so I wanted to get that to you guys. Anyway guys, I hope, hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, any comments, any way you would like me to do this video better next week um, or tomorrow, let me know. Um, other than that guys, I will see you guys tomorrow.